Hey there guys, and welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. Um, sorry for leaving it for so long. I've been playing a couple of other games, building a few things, and basically having a little bit of of uh, no computer game time, really. But back here at the moment, still loving it, still loving our ship. Um, I've done a few warp jumps since last time, so we are now in a different area, back with the Gex, which is what I like. But we did find... Um, I did jettison into someone else's uh, universe. So, we found this universe here um, that was actually already discovered by someone's name, which is Chance Graham, which is kind of cool. It's quite nice to be in someone else's universe. Problem with that, though, is obviously you can't you can't name anything, so my, my naming system kind of fell through. But there was some quite cool stuff on the planets. Um, I think... I think if you've already, if someone's already found some stuff, and then you continue to find more, because obviously you get a bonus if you get an entire complete kind of library of what's on there. But um, but yeah, I think you kind of add together with everything, so it kind of does help if if you're on someone else's planet and you do jump in and and help them find stuff. It does also help you and them at the same time, which is good. There's there's kind of an aspect of I'm not going to say uh, multiplayer because that's a delicate word to use around this kind of game but you know it's it's pretty good um, I quite like it, I need to just quickly name this one um, I need to name this one T MP, that'll be 05 because that's the fifth star system and someone else's planet, but it's the fifth one that I found so TNP05 sorry, 005B Okay, so we're currently in another universe at the moment. Just want to quickly sell some stuff that I've got. I did have over two mil. Um, however, I kept finding um, uh, little drop pods. So we do now have a 41 slot character, which is pretty good. Had to buy radiation resistance to one of these planets because it was really, really radioactive. It was it was horrible. Um, but turned out okay in the end. I always think that those little drop pods are worth it because with a ship you can upgrade a ship and upgrade a ship and upgrade a ship but I think that the ships because you trade them in yeah Gex because you trade them in they're, they're kind of disposable whereas paying for an upgrade I think at the moment mine's now about 300,000 about 300,000 um, per per upgrade which isn't brilliant but they're permanent so kind of works itself out I guess so I'm just going to quickly go through and just sell everything um, I've upgraded my ships as well I've got pretty good at taking down um, pirates um, I found a lot of gravitino balls as well uh, and you can also see that because I found a lot of gravitino balls I now have a lot of the parts that come from the sentinels on the planets as well because obviously we've got to blow them up um, if you do find a gravitino um, Gravitino? I think, ah, oh, I just sold them my plutonium. I was not paying attention. Well, we better not need any fuel. Um, oh, that's it. Do you remember me saying at the start of it that I wanted one with, um, kind of the big arms on it? This is basically it. This was basically the one that I wanted. Um, make enough from the life form shit. Let's see how much it is. Okay, so that's 17 million and has 35 slots. So we won't be getting this one. Um, but that is the ship that I want. I wanted one that looks like that. I mean, look at those look at those rockets on the side. That's awesome. So we will not be getting that. Um, I'm still quite happy with ours. I mean, look at that. Look at that. It's a lovely, lovely beast. And... And she has fared as well. I mean, we haven't lost. We've lost two space battles, I think, in total. But we've got her nicely upgraded. We've. She's she's still flying well. So I I don't plan on trading it in anytime soon. I think I'm just going to stick with her. Keep upgrading. I said we've got we've got three shield modules now, which is pretty good. Um, all of her other systems are pretty much fully charged up and ready to go. So I'm not too concerned about about it. Um, so just got so there's one other. Am I saying gravitino? Gravitino, not gravitino, but gravitino ball. Get rid of that one. Get rid of these two modules. Some nickel, some iridium. Um, 
And then what I want to do is I'm close to the actual Atlas area. So I think I'm going to quickly jump to there. And we'll see what that's about. So just going to sell these. And skipping to the jump. Right, so. Um, oh, such a nice shot. So nice. Right, so let's have a look on this star map. We are one away. And that is the Atlas interface. That is the Atlas interface. Okay, so we can go there. And we are going there now. Okay, so we are out. We are now at the Atlas interface. Um, there are some planets as well, which is pretty nice. I was expecting it to literally just be kind of a, a space station. And that's about it. So Atlas interface discovered. Okay. We've got a planet behind completely undiscovered as well. So that's, that's awesome. I really like the big... The big station designs in these are really, really nice, and I quite like as well the way that the this the um the creatures the creatures the different alien species ships all have kind of an aesthetic as well. I really, really like that. And I think it's actually quite good. Um, this is amazing. Oh, oh, that's ominous. It's got us just like a bit in Independence Day. Come on. Oh. The space sphincter. Oh, this is this is kind of awesome. Okay. Good. Point the other way for a quick escape. I'm all for that. Right. Restore point saved. And I've just learnt the word for replication. Um seems strange that it's just giving me words but you know I'm not gonna argue oh oh what's going on here I don't understand okay so invisible wall oh I'm guessing I'm meant to go towards the giant red glowing thing but if we go towards this again, what happens here? You go over to it and it disappears. Are they... Going into... No, they're not. I was hoping we were getting Gravitino balls then. Um, right, so let's... Okay, so hang on. If I walk over them, do I just learn words? Am I learning words if I... That's weird. It was just it's teaching me random words at really random points. So right, I'm gonna stop messing around with the balls. Sorry about that. Right, do I Artifact? Oh, okay, so I've got a warp cell. Another warp cell, I don't need those, but thank you. Oh god. Okay, so I need to... Right. That ball looks like... If indigestion was a thing... Exactly. That's what it would look like. Here we go. Oh. No, look up, look up. I want to see what's going on. Okay, so giant triangular thing. It is alien, unlike anything I've ever seen before. I should be afraid. But an inexorable... What? Inexorable pull draws me towards the heart of the construct. I need to know. This is a remnant of the Atlas. It welcomes me. It knows what I am. It offers the promise of true understanding. The intent burns in me. I will peer into the structure of casualty and know this existence. If it is real or some incalculably vast sim simulacrum mm -hmm. authorised by other intelligences. And then it starts talking, and all I know is it says this cow, apparently, and this again. Um, I'm going to accept, accept the um, milestone one, because I'll accept this. The sky full of wonder and the path to enlightenment opens before me. Oh my god, I've got an Alice stone. 
Yes. I can't um can't do anything with it, but uh I've got I've got an atlas stone. Okay, so if we go into inventory, what can we make? Can we actually I don't want to install technology, I wanna build something. Can I build anything to do with that? No, is the answer. I can't build an Atlas Pass, which I'm guessing is what the Atlas Stone is for. So is that is that everything? Cool. Bye. It's pretty cool in here. You could do with getting some furniture, to be perfectly honest. Not gonna lie. Um, but this place probably wasn't cheap. You probably can't afford it. But let's fly out of the space sphincter now. Let's have a look. Well, I had to point out, I'm currently sat just in front of the... Uh, I don't know if anyone saw the video where I was building the unit for our cats. Um, one, of our, one of our cats, Little Fury, um, has decided that... Ah, oh, someone's already been here. Um, has decided that now is the perfect time to sit on her little little castle thing that I made. So we have usage on the castle. The cat tower is a go, and someone else has already been here. Real two four Vegas. I'm guessing it's going to be Vegas, but sometimes spelling isn't everyone's forte. Mine isn't reading apparently. Um, if what I was then trying to read was anything to go by. But let's see what let's see what characters we've got in the um Oh the Atlas your destiny lies beyond Oh my god it's John Abel. How do I get into this one? But yeah, I mean we need to... Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. I love these now. Again, don't want to get arrogant, but Come at me, bruh. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Bring it on. Oh, was that it? Was that it? Is that... Sweet. Done. What did we get? I want to know what I got. Gold. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you need to... Uh... Oh, Crolium as well. You need to bring your... You bigger guns, my friends, now. I don't know what I'm doing. I can shoot in a straight line. Right, so... Let's try and find our way in here. I'm tempted... I've... I've played this game a lot now. And a bit of me... Originally, I just wanted to explore and that was it. But... A bit of me is now just saying that I should probably fire myself at the center of the galaxy and go for the main atlas quests and just try and blitz through them all as quick as I can while keeping my ship as upgraded as I can and upgrading me whenever I can but basically just moving forward rather than kind of dawdling around um, I know you guys as well who watch the videos I'm probably really behind on what other people are doing I've seen people with things about black holes and space anomalies and all this that and the other and and I'm a bit behind. I just, I just enjoy it. It's, it's, it's a, it's a steady plodding game. And I think that too many people have tried to get it done as quick as possible. Um, and that's not, that's not really how I like to play things. So, trade pleases warrior ancestors. The, the Viking. Now I've got a lot of words for them. So, um, but yeah. So I think I'm not going to sell that. Um, Cool, so what is... I've got my Corolium, why can't I sell... Oh, that'd be in the ship, wouldn't it? But yeah, so I think I might... I might move forwards. I might go on to... Oh, that's quite cool. I might go on to... Just moving forwards in the universe, trying to get... Actually, to the centre a little bit more. And go that way. Um, try to not hang around too much... Out here anymore, and just just blitz it on as far as I can forwards and try and go with the Atlas missions uh, which should be good I think I've got enough my, my hyper jump is is big enough that I can go a lot of distance um, fairly easily so it shouldn't be too bad as I said I can now oh my god that ship in the background is beautiful sell items to life form gold 
Yeah, they're way more than that when you buy it. 68,000. No, no thank you. Corridium, though. You can take that off my hands. Right, so we don't have enough to buy this guy in the back ship, but I want that ship. That's so nice. When I was saying about the dragon arms, kind of the little, the little hunchback pieces, this, this is what I was talking about. I love those wings. They're awesome. Right. Even if it doesn't have an extra warp drive, I will buy it if it's rubbish. I just want that shape. Trade. Trade discussions. Yep, yep. Let's look at the ship. Come on, please. 19 million. Oh. Right, never mind. We can't get it. Wasn't meant to be. We'll stick. We'll stick with you. You're good. Done as well. We can shoot things down pretty quick now, to be honest. So I'm still pretty happy. So let's go back out. Let us. What have we got? Discovered by a real 24 vague. Should we go and have a look at that one? Let's go and have a look at it. Let's see what it's like. It looks really cool. I've yet to find a snow planet, actually. I'd really like to find a snow planet. Literally, no, no sooner as I said it, did we find a snow planet. This is awesome. But yeah, I'm just going to mine a bit, and see you guys in a bit. Okay, second thoughts. It turns out this is a hostile planet. We will not be staying here. We are leaving. Does mean that there are um, that there are um, what are they called gravitinos, but I don't think it's worth it. Um, just gonna end up getting shot down left, right, and centre. All my ammo is gonna go. All my health is gonna go. So it's a really nice looking planet as well. Um, something that does annoy me about the way the planets work is if you land on a planet that someone else has discovered it doesn't come up with that nice little handy bit at the side so you don't know if the host if the sentinels are hostile you don't know what the weather is you don't know what the temperatures like so you're basically just kind of left a little bit which i personally don't enjoy i like knowing when i step foot on it what it's going to be like and whether or not i need to bail immediately or whether or not i can just can chill out there for a little bit but what I'm going to try and do is there's something in the water over here. I want to see what that is. Uh oh. Dive, dive, dive. Right, so we are going to have to shoot our way out, I reckon. Oh, and I can't because I've got none of the isotopes needed. Oh, I forgot that I accidentally sold all of my um my plutonium, didn't I? I think we should be fine. We're just gonna it's giant cocoa beans. Um we are just gonna get shot a lot. So that was iron. That's not what we need. Although Go away. God, there's a Death Star. Where's the ship? Oh, I was running away from it, running away. Ah! Get in, get in, get in. Duh! Right, so we are we are done and away. But things could be worse. Right, so let's let's bounce from this planet. I'm I'm done with this one. I don't like the aggressive planets are cool. But I think it would be nice if you could, I don't know, if you could, if there's like a gun turret on your ship. Because if you run back to your ship, you could like sit in your gun turret and shoot down all the drones and everything that are attacking you. Is that there's not really much you can do to kind of beef your character up enough that they can take being shot at with lasers by weird robo cats and stuff. Um, but this is the undiscovered one, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Right, let's pop our way over to there and see what new stuff awaits okay so we are coming in on this planet right now we have got what do we see what do we see oh i wonder what that was and it was just a graphical glitch right so we have got 
completely undiscovered planet. Let's find somewhere with some nice stuff. Looks pretty cool. Aha! Is that a big block of gold? I am hoping so. I'm worried everything in this universe, or in this section of the universe, is going to be uh, aggressive. Okay, passive. That's good. I like passive. He's for gold. I can't see what you are. Oh, it's Emeril. Oh, let's get out of there. Emeril, I'm alright with that. It's worth a bit. Could you grab us some of this? So I've started actually thinking about keeping a little book where every planet I come across... Because um, obviously I'm, I'm doing my naming system which works. But I can just keep a little log of... Again, just a little book, nothing too complex, that says the star system name, um, the asteroids in that as well, and kind of what their main composition is. I had one that was mainly copper um, at one point where all the meteors, all the big meteors, the big space turds, they were all copper. Um, there wasn't anything else. Then I went to another galaxy and there was no copper ones at all. So if I start keeping notes now, I think that's really going to help later on when I need to have specific ingredients for stuff. So I might start doing that. That's something I, I could do just to try and help myself in the future. Um, let's just get another 20 just to get up to 100 or else that'll annoy me in my inventory. Um, come on. There you go. That'll probably be about it. Right. And some more of this stuff. We need more fuel. What are you? It's a wrinkly pumpkin. Oh. Oh, no, wait, no, they're passive, aren't they? Oh, panic then. Right. Oh, titanium. Yeah, go on then. I will have some of that. Um. I. It fell off. I will definitely take some titanium. Bam. Oh. Oh. They're like T-Rexes. Just don't move. Ian, freeze! Right, let's go. Um, what have we got up there? What's that one? That's a cheap one. Okay, so we've got giant mushrooms from Willy Wonka. Done. We have got cacti. Done. We have got that's a giant block of um. What's it called? Isn't it? We don't need any of that. We've got more cacti. It's too far away. Uh, we have got. Why are you? Ah, oh, he's so cute. He, on the other hand. Not quite so much. Let me scan you. Let me scan. Okay, so I scanned you, not you. No, come back. Come back. Monkey Dillo. Come back. Okay, maybe. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got the Monkey Dillo. Um. I think. Okay, so the big blocks we can scan as well. Right, so we have got that. What have we got in the local area? We have got... Oh, what's that? We grab that as well while we're here. Um, docile. So... I'm going to jump back in here. Go for a, a quick fly. Uh, oh. Apparently there are birds. Nearly killed a bunch of those but yeah I'm going to keep flying around I'm going to see what I can see and see if any of that is interesting ok so just quickly mining some other stuff and we have got some ships flying over there which means there is probably a trading post over there so let's go hot pursuit let's chase them down See, I know these aren't real people, but imagine if, imagine if this is what co-op was. Imagine if it was 
co-op with two people or maybe up to four and you could have two people who are big heavy cargo ships and two of your best mates flying around behind you in combat class ships to protect you just how awesome would that be just simple things like that just just they come into your universe they edit it it's not massively so you wouldn't have randomers coming in and joining you as well it would literally be specifically your little universe or their universe you could jump into their game or a shared one it could be an entirely different save file but just having just having like a couple of friends follow you around in your in your ships it would just be awesome just knowing that if, if you got caught by a lot of pirates they're there in their fighter class you're there in your haulage and they've got you back you know right so they weren't going anywhere I left them to to trundle off um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this video short and sweet probably going to end it here going to go do a load of more mining just to get my my uh, standing cash back to over two, gr uh, two grand two million going to keep that there once I think you can map the suits max out um, once you get to the bottom of this list so I think you can only have maximum 42 so once I've got that one money for buying stuff like that isn't going to be an issue it's all going to be money being saved and I'll just keep farming and farming and farming gradually I'll, I won't hit it hard just to keep that up and then one day we'll be able to get that awesome 48 46 slot ship but that's the end of this video guys thank you very much for watching if you like what i do here hit that like button if you want to be kept up to date with all my most recent videos building gaming vlogging going to a new lap uh, another lap game soon so that'll be up hit that subscribe button as well and as always thanks for watching just a quick afterthought as well actually i'm going to be doing the next videos as as the atlas playthrough so i think i'm just going to hit that hard so the next videos in here are going to be a lot more story based